Well, um, we were about uh, half an hour away from uh, uh, to land the command straight for, and uh, of course, it's been, I, I saw that the, the plane is taking different direction, directions, and we don't know nothing about it. And um, then uh, the, the pilot uh, um, announced that he's going to take um, uh, land it at the Stanton uh, at Luton Airport, and then we landed. Uh, safely, and then he announced uh, that um, uh, uh, he, got a, the, he got a, some kind of threat from someone. That's why he landed the plane. So, you as a passenger, yeah. whilst the problem was actually there during the flight, you were what totally unaware of there being a problem. Actually, we were sitting in the front at 46. It's, it happened at the back, some like 60 yards. And uh, of course, when you're sitting, you only look forward, you don't look backward. And uh, I haven't heard of anything or uh, any hassle, you know. But something did happen. Uh, verbal was going on a plane and then landed. And uh, three, three, uh, four, uh, three or four people came on board, arrested two people. And um, then we have been removed off the plane uh, with our passports. Uh, we are in the buses now to take probably to do the destination before we have a clearance to take off. We are just, as we're speaking to you, we're just seeing the pictures of the plane. It's in a quieter corner of uh, the outer fringes of Stansted Airport. That's where you finally ended up before the passengers were, were taken off. Um, just in terms of, of the arrest, did you, did you witness those two people being arrested that we have heard about? Um, there's two people um, uh, being arrested. They've been handcuffed on a plane, and um, uh, while they're gone, and then the other police came on board and they asked to leave the plane with the help of their escort and uh, aviator buses. Thanks God to the um, uh, force, very helpful. And um, so thanks are your safe. And just to be clear, and uh, finally. After you were diverted f from the approaches to Manchester and before you got to Stansted, you as passengers, what were they actually telling you? Uh, no, but um, the, uh, the captain hasn't said much about it. He said he's, he's going to take it, uh, he's going to land it to the Stansted airport. But he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say nothing uh, while we were in air. When we landed, then he explained why he did that, what the avi aviation said to him, and he'd take a right um, decision to do that, do so. So thanks, God. Thanks for him as well. Because he done a very good job, I suppose. You know. So it wasn't particularly frightening during the time you were in air, but uh, when you were told what had happened, is, yeah. what then, were your then, what were your thoughts then? Well, of course, then then uh, every, I'm sure every person will be scared and frightening the scene, you know. And um, especially when you're on a plane and something happened to you, then of course it's scary. Uh, it is scary.